Hello? Joe, you wouldn't believe who was just at my door. Ryan Seely. He was selling industrial cleaner. Ryan Seely? God, I haven't heard that name in a while. He was selling what? Cleaner. You know, door to door. Anyways, I thought I'd call you. He's going to all the houses and he should be at yours pretty soon. <laughs> wow. So the fucker got a job. Eh, I guess that's alright. Seems how drugs must have gone up and he's aching for a hit. Did he say anything to you? I don't think he remembers we went on a date two years ago. Day from hell, huh, Leslie? I haven't seen him since he dropped out last year. I don't think he's still hanging out with Vanessa. <sighs> You had to mention that junkie slut. Well, they deserve each other. At least he got a job. I figured she'd be dead by now. Well, it happened a year ago, so don't kill him or anything. I got over her cheating on me months ago. Listen, I gotta check my mail. Dave Johnson might have sent the script, and I'll have to have four pages done by Friday. Can I come over tonight? Sure. Cool. I'll rent a movie. See you at 7. Later. through the This is Ryan Seely. I work for Antec Industries and we make a uh, carpet cleaning product. Would you like to see a demonstration, sir? Well, why don't we discuss this inside, huh? Get you a cold drink. Alright, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. No problem. There you go. Thanks, man. It's hotter than hell out there. Humidity will kill you. Yeah. Speaking of humidity, you ever notice how oranges your driveway can get after the years of humidity and rain? Well, this product from Amtec, it can take care of that whole oh, thing. Thanks, man. Are you sure? Yeah. My mom uses bleach. But I appreciate the gesture. All right. How long have you been doing this? Since 8 this morning. No, no, no. I mean, how long have you had this job? Uh, I don't know, about three months. My dad got me the job. Amtech is the cleaner they use at my, the plants at my dad's company. It's a really good company, Amtech. You can really shine. You gotta start from the bottom till you get to the top. You know, I've seen you at school. I dropped out last year. Sorry, uh, I graduated last year. <sighs> I'd be graduating in two months if I stayed in school. You got your GED? I'm working on it. Once I get going at Amtech and move up, I'd like to get out on my own. They'll pay for my school. They're, they're like the really best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't recognize you, man. Did, did we like smoke a bowl together or something? I don't do drugs. Never have. I quit using drugs last December. First the pills, then the pot. Uh, last time I had a drink was a little bit of champagne at my father's New Year's Eve party. Amtech took my word that I quit and then they hired me. I just have to take a piss in a cup like once a month or so. It's good that you're off that shit. 
Yeah. I still don't recognize you, man. Well, you know, we both knew somebody. Vanessa Randall. Oh, man. You have my sympathy. <sighs> me and her dated about two years ago. Until she dumped me because of the drugs. I introduced her to about everything. Everything out there. But I guess I guess she wasn't really interested in all that stuff. <laughs> well, it seemed like she did. You know, I only hung out with her. I didn't hang out with any of her junky friends. I can't blame you, man. I quit hanging out with that crowd last September when I decided to get a life. So why did you drop out? I don't know, it was April last year. I felt no one wanted to be with me. No girls, that is. You know, drugs make you do stupid things. I was losing weight, being a total fuckhead, smoking pot with people I knew and I didn't know, doing a line every now and then. <sighs> Going to school, seeing normal guys like you, it was depressing. So, I called her up one day, I told her to come over. She did. She was real nervous. So she said her, her boyfriend was at work or something. Uh, I don't know. I liked him, he was, he was normal. I think he read comics or something like that. I was kind of jealous of him. She listened to my whole sob story and depressing this and that, and I broke out a bottle of vodka and we got drunk. For some fucked up reason, we fooled around a little, and after a minute, she jumped off me and, and pushed me off her. And she felt guilty, and she called her mom and, and told her to come pick her up. I don't know why. Ever since then. Hmm. I don't know, I guess her boyfriend forgave her. Poor bastard. So, uh, she told me that you and her did something else. Shit, well, yeah, about a month later, she called me up and said her friend wants some crippy. Crippy? Yeah, uh, strong weed, um, you know, kind bud. Anyways, I said I could get, get it for about, you know, 100 bucks a quarter. She got dropped off at my house one day, and I had two of our old friends over, a couple, John and Kim. John took us to go get the weed. We came back, and Vanessa decided to fuck her friend over and smoke it. <laughs> Just like her. Yeah, well, we sat in my hot tub and got really fucked up. She and I went to go change in my room, and I got fucking horny as hell. We does that to you, you know? She was, too, like, so, you know, we, like, we like fucked for, like, an hour. <laughs> Matter of fact, whenever we were going out, we always fucked. I guess she never told her boyfriend until last July. I guess they had broken up. He wanted to kill me. He quit talking to her, and she came to me devastated. We went out, we went back out for a while, but she just kept running off and fucking other guys. Around September, an old friend of ours, some chick who fucked another ex-girlfriend of mine, was high and depressed, so she shot herself. That's when I decided to quit drugs and get a life. Well, that's good. <laughs> you know, I had a major shock last year, too. This was around June. I got rid of any friends, like Vanessa. Bust my ass off all summer and was able to land a job by September. Like, when I decided to get a life. Yeah. So what do you do now, man? Well... I draw comic books. Joe Sales, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. I never should have forgave her in the first place. I was in love. I was naive to think she'd never do it again. It didn't matter if she was high or drunk. She would have done it anyways. Yeah, I hated you. It took me months just to get over that the first time. Then in June, <laughs> we broke up. 
she kept calling me and I just, like an idiot, just kept taking her calls. And one night, I don't know, maybe it was around 2, 3 a.m., she admitted to me that you guys did the serious <laughs> mambo jumbo, you know. And the ironic thing was is that that whole time, you know, it was like, because <laughs> I think the thing that hurts the most is that I took her over to your house. I knew she was getting the drugs, you know? But I guess it didn't really matter to me. I thought I was being Mr. Big Shot. Or maybe I was just pussy whip. So I came back, I picked her up, and couldn't really tell that she was high. And I guess maybe about 45 minutes after you guys fucked, we did. And it took me probably up until about the end of the year to get over that shit. Even then, I still kind of loved her. But on New Year's, my friend Leslie and I dug a hole through everything that she ever gave to me, notes, poetry, pictures, whatever. And we burned it. Yeah, I wanted to beat the shit out of you. I wanted to kill you. I wanted nothing more than the satisfaction of ripping your own head off and shitting down your throat. I'll be honest with you. But I got over it. I got that job on the comic book. Popular artist. I make about 75 bucks a page, 22 pages a month. You can do the math. I always wanted a moment with you alone. My turf no less. I'm over that, Ryan. I'm actually happy that you made it. And I got over everything. You know, if Vanessa were to go clean, she could probably make something of herself. But honestly, the drugs, the drinking, it's not what made her a bitch. You know, she still calls me every now and then. She knows that I was a good thing. Joe, I'm sorry, man. <sighs> it's the past, man. We've got to look at now what's ahead of us. I mean, everything will get bad. It always does. But you just can't let, you just can't let it get to you. I better get going, man. I gotta meet my ride in two hours, and I got a lot more houses to visit. Oh, I'm hoping to get a car soon. There you go. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the water, man. I appreciate it. Ryan. Yeah? Good luck. Thanks a lot, man. Take it easy. So did Ryan come by? Yeah. And? And what? What happened? I didn't buy any, any industrial cleaner. Oh. Okay. Hey, look, I got this script today, and I want to get those four pages done. Sheesh. Nice going, Joe. Thanks. <laughs>